But I used to know this woman who had the most beautiful tattoos on the top sides of both of them. She was 43 years old, and as far as I know, she never yet been with a man. It's not that she wasn't attractive. It's the way that she interacted. She was aggressively passive to the point where she would have intimidated any man that ever tried to catch it. And on the right hand, she had a tattoo of a nude girl. She claimed that it's what God resembled. But on the left, a mirror and image of the same female. This one, she explained, looked like the devil. And I remember once watching her touch her own breasts, how the tattoos smiled while they stared down her stomach, as if anticipating when they'd be allowed to caress the flower that they both seemed to hunger. Sweet Jesus. Yeah, maybe I was high, but it felt so right. Heaven and hell both take to this woman's womb. It didn't make sense how she could commence touching herself with me wide awake in the same room. But if I've learned anything in my years, I've learned I no longer believe in surprise. But what happened next? Damn near stole my beard and tattoo. San Diego, put your hands up in the air for me. They both slowly stood up and climbed up from her hands. They showed me why she never took the time with a man. They climbed deep inside of this woman's garden. She closed her eyes and she gently bit her pot of whip. I stopped, I left, and I don't regret leaving. I never forget all of the shit I saw that evening. The glimpse of religion, a small piece of coming closer to understanding more about what you treat me most. I didn't get turned on. Wasn't as aroused as I was concerned. For each one of them, I've heard every time I've been burned. Got a lot to teach, even more to learn. 